we are heading into episode three. I can't believe we're at season seven. It doesn't feel like I watched Shameless that long ago, but it's been a while now. I'm enjoying season seven so far. I would say they've, they've been pretty strong set of opening episodes. I've enjoyed Debs. That's a, so that's something a bit new. It's been a while since I think season three, since I really enjoyed her character. She does make me anxious with what she's doing because it will backfire on her. It's already started to. And I don't know if her picture will circulate after her without meaning to, kidnapping a child almost, and then running away. I really like them at loggerheads with Frank because it brings a bit of comedy and pettiness to the characters. Fiona will break, we know that. There's that one point shot break. I don't see her interact with other characters as much anymore. Like, I don't see her interact really with Debs or with Veronica. And I'm not sure what the reason is for, especially as Veronica's supposed to be her best friend. Maybe it's just life, it's supposed to represent the life of it all. Because obviously they showed the gentrification of the area and they have now for a couple of seasons, But and that's trickled in. But yeah, I don't know why we don't see her with Veronica as much, because they're in the same settings. But maybe we'll see a little bit more this season. I feel like there's so much to tackle for season seven because the characters are so much older now that we can really get into more adult themes, apart from obviously Liam, but you know, he is a kid. But the others are now more heading towards, especially Devs and Carl, are heading to more serious arcs for their characters because obviously Devs is a mum now. I hope season three is as strong as the first two episodes. Uh, Discipline, kinky. I mean, she did say she had a child. No, uh, you know what? Actually, I should, uh, I should go. I gotta be in my internship early. What do you do there? I work for free for a bunch of douchebags whose asses I would have kicked in high school. That's true. But hey, if it's on the step of the ladder. Fiona and Debbie ripped my skeleton from my flesh. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have done half the things you've done, Frank, to them. And you were there. And your kids. And you put whiskey-drenched cotton candy back where my bones had been. Oh, he was, I mean, he is very intense. What? I know you are, but what am I? Oh, she's really enjoying the, the hookups. Just, just please be careful and safe, Fiona. No. Sleeping time. Is she still scared of me? Oh, she did watch you bounce Frank's head down a flight of stairs. That makes sense. Now I just bone and go. So I can save my energy for more important things. Like what? Job. Pass his pies. Okay. Sure you want to be directing all your freed up energy there? You're one to talk. You spend all day working for free. Ha yeah, but he's bullshit. Yeah, has career prosperity is like a step up in the ladders. Working for free is called slave labor last time I checked. I'm surprised he didn't say something petty there. Like, how's the boyfriend? I'm not violent, Joy Alisi. Just in a hurry. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little short. My internet business had a slowdown due to a lack of inventory. Oh, but yeah. And I remember Charlie Chin me not met on a me for no. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and they're doing it in slow motion as there's some new important thing where they're all just like these are poor homeless kids as well and i think some strung out people she's gonna puke isn't she yeah disgusting uh topless maids that actually clean pass it along and then he just looks at them yeah from the van. Excuse me, sir. Oh. This is a legitimate business here. Would you? Oh, uh, he's rushing as well. Oh no no no! Yeah, headbutt. Yeah, kick him in the balls. Is that supposed to be her brother or her husband? This is my father. I knew you, family member. I knew it. I knew it had to be a family member. <laughs> Because of the way it happened. He's trying to get his mind off of stuff. Breakfast off of that floor? How long have you been here? I came in early. Caleb and I broke up. 
Yeah, but this is the pro. Here we go. That's us. Let's hit it. This will keep him busy. This is disgusting. I'm just waiting for the lip also to now flip. Why is he covered in shit, Lana? He rode into country hiding on Kyle Fraser. Yeah, it's fair. I'll go get him some clothes. Don't you dare leave. <laughs> <laughs> An agitated woman. Agitated is code for mentally ill. The cops already have her cuffed. She can't do any more damage. She's yeah, but if you drive the way you're driving, you're going to cause an accident. How did you do to me? Excuse me, but he has his finger up my ass. I have a seat in the waiting room. I'll be with you in a minute. The gonorrhea? What? You gave me gonorrhea. Disgusting! How? I didn't he didn't give him gonorrhea. I gave him a circumcision. He's a little old for that, isn't he? I don't know why people keep saying this. I know people who, who are older than who've had it. No, but my girlfriend has it. Her dad wants to kill me and the dude's a cop. Okay. Because if he doesn't have it, and she does, just saying. This is, no, that's not where it goes. Down it's there. not the Holy Ghost in. Whenever you consider not using a condom, remember this pain. I feel nothing. He should, I'm hoping Ian's able to communicate with her. Traffic says a demon was chasing her history of schizophrenia, but no violent crime, so I'd rather... Okay. It's all right. I'm here. Like, he's trying to keep her peaceful and calm. Hi. Uh, uh, sorry, but, uh, can you move your van? No! I live right over there. I have some little kids who are about It is to true, like, he's, they are like, gonna find into, uh... Your van is very graphic. <laughs> it's pornographic, really. Oh, thank you. Those are my wives. Look, man, you tell your wife this is a legitimate business. And under the 14th Amendment, we have every right to exercise our right to free speech and show boobs. Well, that's that's, that's not slavery. Yeah. Hey, you uh, want a business card just in case uh, your wife goes out of town or something? You know you're literally, literally pimping out your wives as if they're prostitutes. Oh, it's gonna be okay. He's not protocol. Yeah, he could get fired for Please this. Help me. Take a deep breath, Kate. You know she's probably gonna punch you. All right, she's fine. You're all right, right. See what? Wait, 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 wait. Ian. See, she's fine. See, I knew it. She's, she's gonna get hit by the car. That's what you like. Why didn't you listen, Ian? I went to an open house, which is right. I thought that was Sheila's old place. Help yourself to a cookie and have a look around. Take all the time you need. I'm here to answer. Oh, her. Huh. Hey kids, you heard her. Help yourself. Frank Gallagher. She's a shark. This one. Uh, I hope you know how to negotiate. <laughs> oh, Frank touching you. Is this going to be our new house, Daddy Frank? He's trying. <laughs> Isn't there laws about squatting? I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a bad judgment call, and I. It's a shame. You are lucky she isn't. Yeah. You want to keep your job, Gallagher? Shut up oh. and watch this. What is it? Ian, if Rita's telling you to go home, you need to listen, even if it seems unfair, even if you're feeling. Ah. Uh, okay. okay. Come on, Ian. I'll drive you home. What are you doing here? She's your emergency contact. Well, I'm not having an emergency. You are. I disagree. He is having an episode. You're making breakfast in the middle of the night, Ian. Your meds can go out of balance when you go through a high-stress thing like a breakup. I actually do think they're wrong here, but he, obviously, if he's in a manic episode, this isn't... Uh, he's not going to react well. Yeah, well, your pops tried to kill me this morning. Yeah, I'm probably best to avoid him. I'm so sorry, I don't know how I possibly could have gotten gonorrhea. You're a Dumb bitch. Sure. You better get out of here. My yeah, dad who's she been seeing? So that's it, you're just gonna ride off on the bike I bought you? I cut the tip of my dick off for you. I love you! Yeah, but she clearly doesn't love you. Hello. Oh, 
You have got to be kidding me. Oh no, what no. now? Uh, yes, I'll be right there. What's happening now? Well, I for he one really? I tell you what, he knows how to get people together, easily, doesn't he? And I am not wandering on foot for 20 miles to find my way to another shithole. He loves these little Rao's like, speeches, doesn't he? But as soon as it doesn't benefit him, these people will be gone. Yeah. She was shoplifting. So unless you're able to pay for everything she was taking, then I how much? $2,423. Excuse me? You're a walking lie and I can see right through you. She, she wasn't shoplifting. She just forgot to pay. She, she does that sometimes. She forgets things. Symptom of her low IQ. Fiona. Oh. <laughs> You're a sneaky bitch. <laughs> Looking back, yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. I like how, I, that was great acting from everyone in that moment. I was just trying to be a good mom, Fiona. You're so lucky that they called me and not the police. I mean, you realize they can take Harry away if you get arrested. They fucking Prada diapers. Huh, my money was on stripping. I <laughs> Do you really think I was making money stripping? Don't get any ideas. <laughs> well, where are you going now? I have a job, and so do you. Aren't you supposed to be washing dishes tonight? I mean, yeah, it just, uh, I, I feel the stress for all of them. Maybe yeah, she's cheating on you. I was gonna say, take the bike. The bike that I paid for? Ha! Was it me, okay? I'm clean. It's true. Are those Greek letters up Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, she's out of, isn't that worrying? Like, is there gonna be gunfire? Oh, sure, I should hope so. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. So, it used to be that we had a squirrel fund. And everybody contributed what they could, but I carried the bulk of it because I was the only grown up. But now. In the numbers, and I came up with a system that I think is fair. What's this? That's your share. Otherwise, I'll rent out your rooms or sell the house, and everyone can fend for themselves. Wow, what happened to you? Get a job. Who's gonna watch the baby? Not my problem. That's right, little bitch. Since when do you care about your credit? Because she wants to be like Since that woman. Now. The only one who gets a free ride around here anymore is Liam. I want you all to put me at the bottom of your emergency contact list. Put lip first. Whoa. She's really just taking everything away, like, I don't care anymore. Because I have a plan for my life. And it doesn't involve you? I can't do it if I'm getting a call every five minutes about one of you. I mean, that episode showed that... I am just as likely as anyone else in this family to make something of myself. And it's about time you got that, you arrogant shit. <laughs> he kind of liked when she spoke to him like that, because obviously he did offend her. Looks like communist Russia. Gallagher home for the homeless? Where are you going, Kel? Uh -huh. That's not your mom, boy. I like how he just offers money. <laughs> he is making money, though. <laughs> Another really, really good episode. I have to say, it... It, it can be a bit jarring sometimes because they do go from one moment to the next and it's very cut, 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 quick, quick paced. Frank seems to be back on his feet, a new family apparently. And I'm not sure what's going to happen there because obviously he's, he's like, how he gets away with the stuff he does is amazing, but highly frustrating as well. You just want to know how he gets away with it. I just sit back and go, Imagine what he could do if he was in politics, like truly in politics, if he wanted to be. I know we saw it in one of the other seasons, but you know, when someone not trying to, I don't know. Frank has a way that he's just able to kind of get things. I, 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 I mean, he really kind of sorted stuff out for himself and his family really quickly. But things always crash for Frank. I mean, we know that. Fiona is... I don't know, something's... I don't know what to take with this, Fiona. So I do agree with her that every five minutes being called and she's supposed to be at her workplace is ridiculous that she's having to sort everyone out. But for her to just kind of... I don't know. Like, 
it's kind of I understand that she like she's seen that woman and that woman didn't have kids, no married life, and she earned all this money, but it feels like I think they're gonna create Fiona to be kind of unlikable this season, maybe. Like there are things that she's in that are true, and she does kind of need to give everyone a kick up the pants, but at the same time it's like they are still your brothers and sisters, so I hope you kind of at least keep some sort of relationship with them. But she was very offended by Lip. And I think he kind of respected her in that moment because he smiled back. Um, I, I don't know how he's going to be able to pay his side of things. And also, like, she's asking a lot of money from all of them to be able to pay bills. If that's a month. 375 for Debs a month. Fine, like, she can get that. But I'm wondering what it is for everyone else. We know right now Ian can't work he has to take the week off and obviously he was having a manic episode and I like that moment between him and Lip where they could talk about what's going on with them and I think Ian just needed to know there is someone else who at least to a degree understands what's happening and because it's family he's like this is helping me more and I don't know it was just a really good episode high paced so Dominique's gone which I knew was going to happen because of how she's been towards Cole the last two episodes it just made sense um, what the dad did. <laughs> I, I guess that's the end of with us seeing them. Because obviously characters only come by here and there now in this show. I haven't seen anyone become a mainstay for a while. But we also, we only had this part in season seven. But I am excited to see where Lip's going to go. Because I think his eyes were opened about though the job is a bit sucky. There are opportunities for him as it goes on. And of course... Fiona is realising, well, I can achieve this. And so I think we're going to see quite a shrewd business-like Fiona. I, I feel like she's very much going to kind of be cold towards everyone, cut everyone off, no, no kids, no life. Like, just, like, it feels like she's kind of heading in that direction where it's... Niceties are completely gone. Like, the fact that she wanted to be on everyone's bottom of their contact list is as if, okay, I've looked after you for this amount of time now. It's time for you to look after yourselves and I don't care. And it's like, okay, like, so you just want to wipe your hands? Like, I get the not being on the contact list, but it's it's strange. But I guess it's to kind of give everyone that kind of kick and be like, look, you've got to fend for yourself. But also, Carl is 16, so there's only certain hours where he can do at that point and jobs he can work, I think. I don't know what the laws are properly for them but I know with the others I mean they are working they are doing stuff but it's it's gonna be a mess I have to say this season is the shift in it feels very different it actually reminds me of season three in its shift I'm quite enjoying like how it's going right now so I'm curious like where it's gonna end up because we just tip of the iceberg with this season and also Kev figuring out he can use money that way and Svetlana's dad there's there's all those issues coming up and I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with that